You want Minecraft mods or mod packs and you want to use the Modrinth app to do it. Modrinth is like CurseForge, but it's a completely separate entity. And in general, a lot of mod creators and mod pack creators prefer Modrinth over, let's say, CurseForge because of it supports creators better, which is always amazing. It's also a lot cleaner, easier to use, in my opinion, has things laid out better, all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get the Modrinth app because that is what's going to allow us to install Modrinth mod packs, but also create, you know, our own custom mod pack, downloading Modrinth mods. So let's go ahead and go to the second link in the description down below. This will take you here. This is the official download page for the Modrinth app. And then just go ahead and click download the Modrinth app here. When you do, it will prompt you if you want to keep or save the file. And it's 100% safe to do that. So we'll go ahead and click save there. And while it's downloading, have a from our company, Civil Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ sus SGH to start a 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server running Modrinth mod packs for you and your friends. That's right, at Simple Game Hosting, there's one click installation of all of the popular Modrinth mod packs. Plus, if you do run into any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. And you can customize the server, change anything that you want about it, including, like I said, install Modrinth mod packs using our one click mod pack installer. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server with a Modrinth mod pack or any mods that you want the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown xyz slash sgh with modern downloaded we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to move the modern app to our desktop you don't have to do this i just like to do it for the videos you could double click on it in the downloads folder but once we double click on it it's going to open up the modern app installer or the modern app setup here go ahead and click next click next again and then click install once it's finished installing you'll see this here and you can see launch modern app there click finish and the modern app will launch if for whatever reason it didn't launch there is a desktop icon for it as well that's generated by default now we can go ahead and get it started. It can be helpful to read through some of this, you know, profile management, all the different stuff that you can do, discovering the latest mods and mod packs, but go ahead and get started. And then we need to sign into the Minecraft launcher into our Minecraft account. That's because Modern only works with Minecraft, so you sign in right here and you never have to think about it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that by clicking sign in. And then once we've signed in, here we are. This is Modrinth. Now, first things first, let's talk about mod packs. You can see right here it says popular packs, but you can also go to the search icon here and mod packs are selected automatically. There's tons of mod packs here, including Better Minecraft, right? There was a super popular Minecraft mod pack, Better Minecraft Fabric. You could install that and you could install our mod pack, which is called not a fine right here it is and you can go ahead and once you've selected it click install you can install as many mod packs as you want in modern there's an unlimited amount and you can find them all in your library tab on the left hand side now as those are downloading i do want to mention at the bottom here there is this settings button it's important to click that because there is some stuff that you can change once you get here that you'll want changed in minecraft specifically this java memory this is the amount of ram dedicated to minecraft by default here it's 2000 megabytes which is probably not enough for most mod packs. Most mod packs are gonna need 6,000. Some, like all the mods or better Minecraft, might need 8,000, and some might even need 10,000 megabytes of RAM dedicated to them. So that's what I'm gonna go with here. You can also change things like your window size and your window height and whether you want it to be full screen. For example, I'm gonna change this to 2560 by 1440 or 1440p there. And you can just go through and change these. Now, as you can see, our mod packs are now downloaded. To play these, you just click play on them and now it's going to launch that quick and that easy to get a mod pack up and running but what if you want to combine some mods well first let's show that this opens and if you're wondering if it is opening like it's been probably about 20 30 seconds in between those you know cuts there you can click up here at the top there's this view logs and it's going to show you kind of what's going on behind the scenes this is a good way to confirm things are working even if it is taking a minute a large mod pack like better minecraft is going to take a while to open so perfectly normal for it to take a while there we go as you can see it's now opening in the background but this is a good way to see that happening in real time because if you're just sitting on the library page you're like okay it says it's running in the top right but i don't see it but now we do back here in the background it is now opening and uh it, it'll load right on up. You see, we get that RAM warning. We're actually a, uh, a little, I think, over-calculated on RAM on this, which is fine. But here we are. We can go ahead and get things going. Now, it does say that Modern does have some mods and all that stuff. You can install these manually using that link there. Unfortunately, that is the case occasionally with Modern mods. If you wanted to install these manually, what you will do is close out of this, and then you would right-click on this profile here, and then click Open Folder. Now, whenever I 
click that button, it immediately downloaded the mods we needed, and they're here in the downloads folder. So we can go ahead and move those to the desktop, and again, get to that folder by right clicking on this and clicking on open folder. Then just add them to the mods folder here. So drag and drop all of these into the mods folder, right like so, and boom, they're now installed. Now, what if you wanted to create a moderate kind of custom set of mods yourself though? How do you do that? Well, click on plus down here at the bottom. Then as you can see, you can actually import stuff from other launchers such as CurseForge, but we're gonna do custom. You can name this anything you want. We're gonna do this moderate tutorial because well, this is what this is. And then you can select the mod loader you want, whether you want Fabric, Forge, Neo Forge, or Quilt. We'll go ahead and go with Fabric here, but this will work with any mod loader you want. And then select your game version. We're gonna go with 1.21. Then click create, and now you have this new modern tutorial profile here. Click on it, and then click on content on the left-hand side, and as you can see, we can now add content here. You can add anything that you want. We're going to go ahead and add sodium, but watch this. Irish shaders require sodium. When you click install on Irish shaders, it will actually go grab sodium as well. So if we go back here, sodium is now installed, and we can see that is now installed here as well. You could install mod menu or anything else that you wanted to install here. For example, modern fix is uh, something that works pretty well. And then once you've got those installed, it's automatically making sure they are for fabric and all of that stuff. So for example, modern fix here is going to be the fabric version. But we can now go ahead and play Minecraft using it. And just like the Better Minecraft mod pack, it is going to print some stuff out here as it's going through and opening. And then once it's finished opening, it will also open in the background and there we go we are now in game you can see that the mods are installed if we go to mods here because we installed the mod menu we can see these for fabric there they all are and we can start playing so if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below but that's the overview of the mod Rinth launcher here truly an amazing app for downloading minecraft mods and more and more mod packs and mods are being added to mod Rinth every single day if you have any questions again let us know in the comments we'll see you in the next video and i'm out peace